Speaking of incoherent, there was a six-man tag team match with Dalton Castle and the boys against the BBC. And Dalton Castle and the boys got about halfway to the ring. And then the former babyface, now heel BBC, jumped him in the aisle, beat him up on the floor. <laughs> the corpse referee stood in the ring hands askew and mouth agape again and Claudio beat one of the boys beat a boy with a power bomb and they left thoughts this is Moxley's dream just let me come in there and kill everyone and then I leave it'll be so cool it'll be so cool it'll be it'll like, rock it'll be like it'll Rambo really, really rock it'll be cool so then Barb Brady was in the back with hangnail and he's asking, the buckaroos are still banged up. They got carted off in the wambulance um, last week, and they're still banged up. And now, Barb Brady asked who did it, and Brian, did you hear what he said? Did you hear what Adam Page responded when Barb Brady said, who beat up the Bucks? He said it was the Blackpool fellows, didn't he? Yes. And then what was the next thing he said? I don't remember. What did he say? He said the BBC. <laughs> did he really? <laughs> Go back and goddamn. I didn't notice that. I dare anybody. Go back and I rewound it three or four times. He said BBC as big as, as fucking Christmas. And then <coughs> here came Don Fallis. And he apologized sincerely for causing this trouble and blah, blah, blah. And suddenly, the BBC jumped page. And they're kicking the shit out of him. And Callus is just standing there. And finally, he offers his hand to Moxley. And Moxley nails fucking Don. And Don goes down. And apparently... He wasn't supposed to. But when he took the bump off camera... He bashed his head into something and busted his own head open. And he was, and when the camera panned down at the end of the thing, going to the break, he's in a pool of blood. So now Moxley, if he just touches people, they bleed somehow. Last week on the show, I think it was last week, the Blackpool Combat Club were fighting with a Dark Order in a match. And then apparently all throughout the arena, throughout the show, so they were able to come back out at the end, right? Was that Apparent, last week or two weeks yes. ago? I forget. Two weeks, whatever, yeah. So they're always doing this. This week, Moxley has this match where they just destroy Dalton Castle and his boys, and then the next segment starts, and they just go back there and kick the shit out of him. <laughs> this is Moxley's dream booking program. <sighs> Every single segment is, I kick the shit out of this guy, and then I kick the shit out of this guy. <laughs> you know, somebody said on Twitter today, said Moxley reminds them of Al Bundy. Continuing to talk <laughs> about his touchdowns at Polk High. And you know what? And and he is starting to look a bit facially and with his hairline like fantastic comedic actor Ed, Ed O'Neill. So oh, he's, a maybe he's, no, he's a badass, though. Ed O'Neill's a black belt in uh, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Well, that's true. But, yeah. you know, for the sake of play acting, Ed O'Neill was a badass that play acted as an idiot. And Moxley's an idiot that play acts as a badass. So they share certain characteristics. Anyway, so now Mox, or not Moxley, but he's back to uh, Don Fallis has been left in a pool of his own blood, of his own making. Whatever he hit on the way down. And they like come Rocky back. Like Rocky III. Just like Rocky III. Mickey, yeah. And poor Mickey. Uh, now nah, I was supposed to be Jose Lothario at the Alamo Dome, but Sean didn't like that either. But anyway, I got two words for you. Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, smart ass. So the point is now suddenly Tony Schiavone wanting to be the bearer of bad tidings. Kenny Olivier is about to go out and defend his prestigious in some circles IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship and they get a shot of him in the back and Tony Schiavone runs up to him with the microphone and says Kenny I know you got a big match but I just thought you'd know that that Don and Hangnail have been attacked in the back by the BBC 
And of course, he turns around. Goes, Don's been attacked. Didn't say anything about hangnail. But then Tony said, "Well, we know you've got a big match, but we we thought you should know." And then he's like, "Ah, oh, but I've got to concentrate." And he goes back into his zone. So he's he's completely distracted in this whole thing. And by the way, this is one of those times where Omega's acting is kind of right. Like, what the fuck? Why are you <laughs> running up to me with this microphone to this camera to tell me this now, ah. right now? <laughs> We thought you should know. <laughs> that should so, be Shivani's new gimmick. He just confronts people backstage with yes. information at bad times. By the way, your, <laughs> your house has just been taken away by a tornado. We just thought you should know. <laughs> your wife was leaning out the second floor window screaming, <laughs> help me, as the fucking thing went up in the air. But we thought you should know. Good luck with the match. Good luck, yes. May the best man win. <laughs> Hope you're on your game out there. All right. 